What's up, J-Bays? It's Victoria James, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, that means you're not yet a J-Bay. Go ahead and click the red subscriber button so it turns gray, you become a J-Bay, and you can hang out with the best bays on YouTube to chit-chat and all that about luxury beauty. All right, so today I'm going to be sort of highlighting Suku as the base of my face. I don't know that I can safely say a full face of Suku, because it's not. <laughs> but it is majority Suku. So we're spotlighting Suku today, and especially this girl right here. This is the babe. This is the doll. This is their newest complexion product, and I cannot wait to go over this with you. So the star of complexion in terms of Suku is the cream foundation, which looks like this. Here's that pretty baby right there. That is the cream foundation. My shade is 160, which is the deepest shade that you can purchase in this shade. I mean, I'm sorry, in this product. There we go. And that's not cool. <laughs> that's not okay. That's not gonna work. That's not gonna work, girl. I'm probably mid-range in terms of how deep and rich melanin gets, okay? I'm like right in the middle, so we can't do that, okay? So now that Suku has gained popularity in the West amongst people who are not just light, light, medium, and tan, we have expanded things. We have given, we have given more in the new of things. And my shade in this one is 165. It gives me the same result as 160, and here's why. Japanese makeup technology is the goat which is why I'm kind of like on top of them about expanding the shade range because everyone needs to experience this everyone needs to experience the 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 shape shift okay the the more metamorphosis that happens once you start buffing this in you put this on as I did with the original like the cream foundation you put this on and you think to yourself I mean it's not you know it's close maybe you know I'm gonna have to do I'm gonna have to do a little bronze and I'm gonna have to use a deeper powder blah 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 this is what you're thinking as you're putting it on and by the time you finish putting it on it's like never mind <laughs> that's the best way I can describe it it's like oh well didn't that just do a thing it looks just like you I'm not talking about it's close enough I'm talking about on a molecular level, that foundation has tapped into you. Your skin tone, the undertones, the complexity of you. I am not exaggerating. You ask anybody who's used this foundation. You don't have to trust me. I'm one person on YouTube. You don't have to believe me. You can look at everybody who has tried this and they will tell you. The technology in the Suku foundation is designed to adjust to your skin tone and undertones within reason obviously so yeah here's my girl there she is in all her glory and this is what I did to apply it I went in with just one pump on each side of my face to achieve medium to light medium coverage then you know made sure I spread it all over my face and I didn't really do too much on my forehead um because I know I'm gonna put a lot of other stuff on my forehead including concealer and things like that so I didn't do a lot on my forehead but I do want you to see like in that area where I have the most hyperpigmentation that it does a very good job of covering it up and I know for a fact that it builds because I've done it before but today I just did one pump on each side as I do with all my foundations and that just gives you a fair comparison of what it's going to look like against your other foundations that you would normally use two pumps for when you look at you like the way the light reflects off of it and everything it's just Ooh, <laughs> it's so good. Also, let's talk packaging real quick. This is way bigger than it looks on on uh, the Seth Ridges website. I really thought this girl was, what do I even have to compare it to? Can I compare it to this? Yeah, yeah, I thought it was giving this. Not a huge difference, but I thought it was giving this, which means that the product itself would have been less. Don't know why I thought that. It's just the way it looks on, like by itself, it looks small. But when you get it in your hand, it's pretty substantial. Here's the cream to compare it to. Um, this is what you get. And, you know, the signature Suku wave that's happening there is on both uh, the bottle and the jar. It's worth the price point. It is less than $100. Let's put it that way. I have spent upwards of $150 on foundation, and I've done it more than once. And so for me, 
a luxury foundation that is around $80 is a reasonable price for me. You know, your collection, you decide. Moving into a little more Suku, I decided to try their concealer, and this is not new. The Intense Cover Concealer in the shade 18. I um, chose 18 because when I was choosing from the website, the swatches and the examples were making me worried. <laughs> do I choose this or do I choose 16? I don't really know. So I went ahead and erred on the side of caution and chose 18, which is fine. I use it as a spot treatment concealer. So here I am applying it to my face. So I used it around my mouth and on the corner, uh, the outer corner of my eye, as well as a little bit more in my hyperpigmented areas just to add more coverage and even out my skin there as I tend to have darkness in those areas I placed it. And it blends out like a dream. So easy. You don't really need to do much at all. I do plan to pick up number 16 because I really love the consistency of this concealer. It reminds me of a slightly thinner Pat McGrath in the way that it feels on your skin and the way that it blends out. I was able to get the coverage I was after, but I wouldn't necessarily say it's an intense cover. Like, girl, this ain't gonna cover tattoos. It's not gonna do that. <laughs> but uh, but it's intense for the, the market that Suku um, focuses on. All right, man, I need a little water break, honey. The Suku blush. <sighs> ah! <laughs> I need another one. I'm gonna try to figure out another one that's gonna work for me because these two that I picked up already, oh, oh my God. Okay, so this one that I'm holding right now that I used on my face today, this is called uh, the Suku Melting Powder Blush Number no. 6 Yube. Oh God, would you look at her? Would you look at her? Y'all, come on, focus on her, not me. She's the star today, okay? Because holy crap. That is the prettiest orange ever, <laughs> ever. This is so beautiful. You know, like you guys know how I get when I really like something. I need to take a pause. I need a dramatic pause because you need to absorb what I'm, what I'm trying to get at here. This is the formula and color are outstanding. I used a synthetic brush. You can absolutely use a natural brush. I feel like I feel like the intensity was pretty much the same because I have used this before with a natural hair brush and I felt like I got the same results. I only needed to dip in one time and it blended out effortlessly. Like you don't even have to be paying attention. That's what I mean. Like as you're doing this, as you're blending out, you can be answering emails. You could be talking to the baby. You you could be eating. <laughs> you could be doing anything else but focusing on where you're placing this. Because it's got you. <sighs> Look at the packaging. You can fit this anywhere. Let me show you guys the other one I have because both colors, both colors are just outstanding. This one here is um I believe it's pronounced Yoyarushi. Please correct me if I'm wrong. I, I mean I've used both of these at least twice already since purchasing. Look at this. You guys. Bam. The link is in the description box. Okay? Okay? I used to say that the foundation was my favorite thing about Suku. That's what I used to say. It's them blushes now. <laughs> Those blushes have promptly shooed her out of the way and taken the seat as that HBIC of Suku. <laughs> the way that they describe it there, they, they call it the melting powder blush. That's exactly what it does. Melts into the skin. It is a powder formula. It melts into your skin. It looks like you are truly blushing. Whatever color that is, it's you. Y'all better get that blush. I talked in my previous, um, previous video about the eyeshadow quads from Suku and how they are so lovely and um, that they have come out with a new formula. I am going to talk to you now about the old formula because I have three of those color stories. <laughs> and so today I chose a nice warm one. This is the Signature Color Eyes number two and this is the Yoyukorio. Yoyukorio. Nope. One more time. <laughs> it is the Yoyu Koyuro. 
Huh? I think that was it. <laughs> this is the color story that is on my lids today. And Suku, for me, they are very clearly creatively driven in terms of like who is behind the color stories that they create. Because sometimes you can look at these and you could say, now Suku, who, who putting that together, child? But then you put it on. Then, then you, you use it. And it's like, oh. See, they saw the vision. That's why they're that's why they're in the business and you're not. Okay. That's why they're doing this and you're not, honey, because they know. They know and they see it. They say, just put it on. Trust us. I do. I trust Suku and their color story curations. Because this one is incredibly tame and neutral compared to the other things that they do. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you the other two that I have in the old formula here. I have number six. This is a cool tone, color story. Oh, okay. That was from the mirror, sorry. <laughs> this slate with this like muted mint. Get out. And then the neutral brown as a transition or a crease shade if you're a lighter complexion. This is a topper here. This is my favorite of the three that I had before. The new formula so let's get into the application of the warm quad that i ended up wearing so started off with the transition shade in this palette which is the brown of course <laughs> and used that in the crease a couple times i went in one good time um, all over the crease area and then i dipped in again to add a little bit of depth to the outer corner and moved into the sort of burnished brownish red, uh, orange right underneath for covering the majority of my lid i moved into the orange in this um palette which i believe is more of a even though it's metallic i feel like it's a little more tangerine leaning than the orange in the um more recent palette that i showed you in my last video it doesn't move it doesn't lean as golden it's not as yellow base they blend together so effortlessly, it's ridiculous. You don't have to put a lot of effort into this. This is a five minute eye, okay? Seriously. Even using all four colors, it is a five minute eye. You go then go into the topper. I dug in pretty deep so that I can get an inner corner highlight and just, you know, dabbed it on the inner corner, finished off my lower lash line with both of the uh, transition and uh, lid shades. Mascara and lashes, all done. Look at that, that is so pretty. That's so gosh darn pretty. This is everyday makeup. This is everyday makeup that gives you a little pizzazz, a little extra glamour. It's super, super gorgeous. Lastly, for Suku, the Comfort Lip Fluid Glow. Baby. Look at my lips. So perfect. This, this and the fog, the fog, uh, the lip fluid fog is their matte version. They are both incredibly comfortable and very long lasting. I am going to just throw on a little bit more of this because I've been sipping on my water. Mmm. Mmm. And let's look at the name of this one. Color is number eight. Does it tell me the name? The name is in Japanese. That's just fine. <laughs> So this is number eight, which is giving you a really gorgeous nude on uh, my complexion. And I just lined my lips a little bit with Natasha Denona's I Need a Nude in La La. So that is all she wrote. Mm. Mm -hmm. Ooh, definitely could use more. They sell out super fast. They also have bullet lipsticks if that's something that you prefer. You can check those out as well. I think this is a pretty good face of Suku. I know I feel pretty. <laughs> and that's gonna do it for this video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, let me know by commenting in the comment section and giving me a thumbs up if you do not prefer to comment. Either way, interacting with me allows my videos to reach more people. So do help me out with that so that we can grow the JBay fam, all right? Thanks so much for watching. All links are in the description box to get your shop on. And I hope you have a good rest of your week and upcoming Mother's Day. Love you guys. See you soon. Mwah.
bye.